So for all of you tough guys out there who believe backup cameras are not for you, stick around and watch this episode. Yeah, you're right on a majority of your claim, but there's some things we found with this backup camera that cannot be replaced by just good old fashioned backing up skills. There's a teardrop back there. How's that? And a baby. And a baby, I hear the baby. Okay. Baby's not in the teardrop, just to clarify. <laughs> I will say living up here in Alaska, my friends, my coworkers, there's a lot of manly dudes. And I often see memes come out that say something like, real men don't use backup cameras. And so I've kind of held to that. Like, obviously I'm not the most manly man, but I do pride myself in my backup skills. And so I'm like, yeah, real men don't use cameras. Uh, but this episode really is me just like letting my ego aside, giving these cameras a chance. And I'm gonna tell you guys, there are some great things that backup cameras do that I cannot do with my own backup skills, but I will also say nothing trumps having good backup technique and you need strong backup technique to use this camera to make it most efficient. So we're gonna get right into this. I'm gonna take the trailer out. I'm gonna show you how to quickly hook up the camera first, but I'll speed through that. And then I'll just share with you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's get right into this, guys. Before I forget, I probably should ask how many of you guys own one of these rear view cameras? And if you do, uh, share with us in the comments if they're helpful for you, what situations you use them in, and especially what brands you're using and what you'd recommend to other small camper enthusiasts. So all of you are going to have small camper trailers where you're mounting this backup camera and it's gonna be at different heights. Some of you are going to put it up near your roof line. Many of you like us are going to put it on your license plate. Uh, for us, our license plate is right off the ground. Some of you are a little higher up. And because ours was right off the ground, we first mounted it even, basically horizontal. Uh, what's really neat about this little Halo View camera is it has a swivel on it so you can adjust it. So as you can see here, we mounted it even, and even actually was too high. So the markings on the ground that show you how far you can back up, those were floating in space. So you can see the lines are kind of going upward, so I'm gonna to have to adjust the camera. We twisted the swivel down a bit, and now you can see the markings are perfectly even with the ground and give you an idea of how much space you have when backing up. All right, there's after the adjustment. So as you can see, it's pretty much right on with the ground now. So if you guys have a low license plate like us, the only downfall is that now that you've swiveled that camera down to get the lines to line up, when you're driving around, you now cannot see the traffic behind you. And that's a huge benefit to be able to use your camera to see behind you. So for like the scamp, if we keep open our front window and our back window, we can see through. Our teardrop, there's no possibility of seeing through. Or if you have a vehicle or a trailer like a scamp and you wanna protect that front window, you're also not gonna be able to see through. So Halo View really prides itself in giving you an experience that's super simple to set up, and it really is. So if you wanted to do this full time, you're going to hardwire it into your running lights, into your brake lights. For us, we were really not sure if we were sold on this camera, the backup camera, so we attached it into our solar generator. Uh, those of you know, we love this solar generator. It can be used for so many things. We have a video below. I'll link it in the description of how it can be used. But we're just gonna show you really quick, we'll fly through it so you can see us using the backup camera, but we're just gonna show you how easy it is to set up this camera and attach it to your power source. So to quickly set this up, we just pulled out some of the quick connectors that we have from installing our car stereo. Take those quick connectors, uh, strip the cords, the positive and the negative, twist them together, the two positives, twist together the two negatives, put the twist connect on it, and that's basically it. Um, it makes a nice clean fitting. It's gonna hold up for a long time. And basically everything came in the pack that we needed. For us, we had to go out and buy a $2 12 volt adapter. Turn on the DC and plug it in there. And I'm just gonna take this in here. So once you have the camera attached to your power source, it's basically plug and play. Uh, as you can see here, we took our 12 volt adapter that attaches to the monitor 
that monitor allows you to see in the rear view. Plug that 12 volt into your cigarette adapter, the monitor pops on, and it finds the camera for you. You don't even have to look it up. I think this uh, Halo View software has like the ability to see four cameras. So for those of you who want to put multiple cameras around your rig, you can toggle through to see different views, which would be nice. Like I said before, we had to kind of tilt ours to reverse and then we put it up at a different uh, height so we could see the traffic behind us when driving. Um, and if you had multiple cameras, you could have one at a certain height viewing the surroundings, capturing video for you, and then another camera facing low for reversing. So before we decided to head out to the campground and try this backing up system, we took it out to a parking lot that had quite a few open spaces that were actually smaller than most campground um, campsites we have. Those fall leaves, beautiful. We pulled into this parking lot and we found a space that had an identifiable object. There's that bottle right, right there. That's the where we're gonna go. That's where I'm gonna park. The bottle, okay. So in this case, it was a blue water bottle. And as we pulled in, we were able to see that water bottle come into view with the camera, which helped us, for one, know we were in the right space. Whoa, look at that. What? I can see the bottle. No way. Look at this. Oh, whoa, there's the bottle. Okay. This, this is, is kind of cool. Awesome. I need to pull forward a bit. Straighten out. But it also helped us really see how well the camera can guide you and how it can show you little items like uh, large rocks that could get underneath your axle or a stump sticking out or anything like that. There's the bottle. You can't really see, but the bottle is there. All right. Okay, let's see. So I still like using the lines better, but wow. it's pretty cool because it lets you see some. Well, there's the bottle. <sighs> Whoa. All okay, right. I'm pretty impressed. It's pretty cool. There's the bottle. So there were some areas when we used the camera that were very beneficial. And then there were some scenarios that actually were quite dangerous. It actually made it harder to back in than not having a camera. And so we're gonna share the benefits and we're gonna share some of the drawbacks of having a backup camera system. And the drawbacks really, if you do know how to back up a trailer properly and you continue to use those techniques with the camera, basically those drawbacks are null. Um, but I do want to share with you that if you are not confident backing up a trailer and you're thinking this camera is going to solve all your situations, uh, that's completely wrong and it'll probably get you in a, in a hairy situation. I think for our family, where we would use this backup camera most is basically when we show up to any of our destinations. So typically, my family is in the back and May's here in the passenger seat asleep because we're on a long journey. I pull up and I have to kind of wake up May to get her to go out behind the vehicle and help me back in so I don't hit anything that I can't see. Okay, keep going. Straight back? Yeah. You sure? I think so. Which way, a little bit which way? To your right. Which way is my right, this way? Yeah, that way. Uh, you'll see on YouTube, most couples use two walkie-talkies so they can talk back and forth to each other, which is a great safety measure. Now for me, I'd rather do this by myself. As you all know, I'm pretty prideful. If I can do things on my own, I'm going to. And having this backup camera eliminates that need to have May involved to bring the family in. I can slowly back us in quietly, get camp set up and everything before the family even wakes up. Now's the time I just wanna share with all of you why you need to understand the fundamentals of backing up a trailer before putting on one of these cameras. Um, and it comes down to the basic parking in a campsite. So here's your campsite. You're gonna drive up to it. You kinda of do the lean into it and pull out, and then you're gonna back up into that campsite. Well, if you do that 100% relying on your backup camera, what you do is you start looking into that screen, the monitor, and you're like, man, I am backing up perfectly. I'm right where I need to be. I'm not hitting anything. My trailer's gonna be right where it's at. But you lose visual of your vehicle. Uh, there's sometimes where your vehicle could be like uh, way uh, pitched, but your trailer's in the perfect spot, 
but you're not watching the back end of your vehicle or the side of your car or the front of your vehicle as you're making a big pitch. And you can be hitting a tree on the side of you or a rock. Uh, we ran into this scenario quite a lot when May and I just blindly, well, maybe not blindly, but looked straight into the monitor in reverse based on what the monitor was telling us. Um, and so that's why you gotta use the basic trailering where you're pulling back in, maybe using your two tires of the trailer as a guide. If you see a little more tire on this side, pull back a little this way, that sort of thing. Um, and then I found, I back up trailers all the time. You guys see it on these, on these videos. Even for me, it was hard. I'd be looking into the monitor and then I'd forget and kind of look at where my car position was and I'd have to do that back and forth. And I'm really not sure, like if it was up to me in the future, I think I would back in manually. And then at the last second, when I'm really trying to figure out how to get my car to the right spot or my trailer, that's when I'd probably look at the monitor in the rear view. But I'd say your whole swoop into the spot and the adjustments, I'd do it all manually without looking into the camera and then use the camera at the end. But that's just me. Now, the scenario where it really helped us was that whole backing down a long driveway. Uh, when you're going down a driveway or let's say you drive down a dirt road, which I talk about a lot, and you hit a dead end and you have to back out, now you're not doing really large cranks on the steering wheel to make an adjustment. They're very micro adjustments. So we found we could just look right into the monitor and slowly just drive the road out in reverse without really looking at our side mirrors very often. These Halo View cameras, even though they did give me this as a free product, it did work well. I'm impressed with it so far. There's not any negatives I would say besides the video quality, but I think that's probably comparable among all brands. They're not there to give you a great cinematic video. They're there to give you safety and uh, basically an extra eye. So if you're getting anything out of this video, please share it with your friends and families. It's the sharing that's the most important for us. We put a lot of time into these videos just so they get out to people so they can learn about things like this just like we have learned from everybody else in the community. Uh, as usual guys, if you like this one, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, but mainly just, just use this. Utilize some of these techniques, utilize some of the things from this channel, and again, share it, get it out there. That's really what we're here for and that's what makes us excited to keep coming back making these videos.